Hey guys, guess what? We reached 1,000 subscribers today. Yay! Fireworks, everything. Oh my god, I cannot believe this. It's 4.27 p.m. today on August 5th, but at 2 p.m. when I was in the car with my parents, I was staring at my iPad for literally more than an hour watching the live subscriber count go up and up and up. And it was crazy when it hit 1,000 subscribers because this has been my goal ever since I started this channel and I didn't even think I would reach it by September if you asked me last week. So it's so crazy that in the past few days, my channel views and subscriber count shot up so fast and I still can't really comprehend it right now, but I actually filmed myself in the car when I hit 1000 subs. So I'm going to show that to you guys right now, but I'm gonna say sorry in advance because the camera work and the quality is really bad because I was trying to hold my iPad here and my phone here at the same time and maintain good quality, which did not happen, but hope you guys enjoy. Oh my god, we, we, oh my god, we just hit 1,000 subscribers at 2, exactly 2 p.m. Oh my god, guys, look, mom, dad, hey. I got to, I got to 1,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, look, we hit the four, four digits. <laughs> oh my god, that is so amazing. Oh my god, okay, I thought it was gonna be done, but it went back down to 999. <laughs> Never mind, we're not four digits anymore, we're back to three digits. <laughs> Should I film that again? <laughs> Am I one of the only people that have that reached 1,000 subscribers twice? Oh wait, look, no, we're back to 1,000 now. <laughs> we're back to 1,000, okay. I was really sad when it went back to 999. I was like, oh man. Okay, now I'm actually gonna be gone. Okay, you guys are back, yay. So to commemorate the special memory slash milestone, I thought I would take you guys to a near and dear place to my heart. And I might even call it the birth of my channel, the birth of my common app essay. It's where everything began. So let's take you guys there, let's go. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> First of all, sorry for this lighting. This is the best I could do. But if you guys watch my Common App essay video, you'll know that baking played a really big part in that essay. And baking really means a lot to me. It's a way I relieve stress and I bake when I'm happy, I bake when I'm sad. So I thought I would bake some tiramisu with you guys today because who doesn't love tiramisu? I love tiramisu, you love tiramisu, my family loves tiramisu, and most importantly, Kelly Stamps loves tiramisu and I love Kelly stamps. So yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me while I make tiramisu, while talking about this whole YouTube journey thing and stay until the end of the video because I have a special present for you guys, but you're going to have to watch until the end to find out what it is. Okay, let's start. Okay, so I already separated my egg yolks, so I'm just going to put my egg yolks into this bowl and whip it up. I'm just <laughs> putting my hand in the eggs, so. Hopefully this doesn't disgust you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna add one eighth cup of sugar. I'm usually really specific with my baking, but since I need to film this video quickly, I'm just estimating, which is kind of making me nervous and anxious because I don't like half-assing baking. Like, I don't like half-assing anything, like my metaphors. Okay, and then I'm putting this in the mixer. We got the whipped, oh my god, the whipped egg yolk. So I'm going to transfer that to this bowl. So for my new viewers out there who don't know why I started a YouTube channel, um, after Corona hit the US, my boarding school sent all the students home. So I had to fly out to Korea in less than a week's notice. Not even a lot of my friends know about this, but I had a pretty rough time in the beginning of 2020 because I was dealing with some personal stuff where a guy really messed me up. And later in June, I found out that he was telling all his friends and his sports team that he hooked up with me, which never happened. So I got really sad about that. I started blaming myself for a lot of things. 
and I feel like YouTube was kind of my escape, especially since I don't have any friends in Korea. I live in the middle of the mountains and there's no one my age around here and so when i came to korea i was really sad about a lot of things like having my second semester senior year being cut short a lot especially because i kept on telling myself during the school year that i would start enjoying senior year once something ended once college apps ended once first semester ended once ap's ended and i kept on pushing that back until i couldn't push it back any further and i got sent back to korea so i didn't have my prom i didn't have my senior internship that i was supposed to have i didn't get a graduation i had a graduation while i was quarantined at home so that was pretty depressing for me and so i just really wanted something to do where i didn't feel so trapped in my house so that's why i started this YouTube channel. Okay, I'm going to pour in half of three fourths of a cup of heavy cream now. I don't know how much that is. My math is not good right now because I haven't been doing anything academic for five months at this point. Ooh, this is thick. Okay, that's right. Okay, now I'm going to whip this up also. Okay, so I forgot to film the part where I put the mascarpone cheese, but I put in the mascarpone cheese and this is a mixture. And I'm going to mix it with the egg yolks now. When it came to what kind of videos I want to make, I always love those college acceptance videos, those college advice videos. I watched those all the way through high school. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do my own thing and maybe it would get views. I honestly didn't expect it to get that many views. And I also want to make those college acceptance videos, but since I ED to Penn and Penn was the only decision that I got, I felt like it was kind of useless to do that. And after I filmed my second video about my Common App essay, I didn't post for like another month after that because I didn't really think of doing YouTube as an actual thing. I was going to stop after those two videos, but then a lot of people liked it and Again, I was bored at home, so I started making more videos. And at first it was really discouraging because, you know, my first two videos did really well, but then after that, my videos were getting maybe a hundred views on the first day. So I was kind of like, oh darn, like no one really likes my videos. They just liked my common app essay. They don't actually like me as a person. So I was really erratic with posting, but then like after a while, I saw my subscriber count going up and up and up. And I was like, Oh my gosh, shoot, like this is becoming more fun. I feel like I'm being able to show more of myself and my personality in these videos and I'm less awkward in these videos. And I feel like we're in a romantic relationship where I'm kind of like staying away and being like, whoa, don't get too close to me or else I'll get too attached to you. And when you go away, I'm gonna cry. But it's kind of too late because I'm already way too deep into this to not care anymore. Okay, I think this mixture is good now. So now we're going to put together this tiramisu. I have this box right here, this is where we're gonna be assembling this. I feel like no one's gonna watch this video because this is so poorly made, but whatever. Okay, I got my lady fingers, I got my coffee, and then I'm gonna dip this in here and try to fit these into this box. Also, since I'm running out of things to say about my channel, I'll tell you guys the present surprise I was talking about in the beginning of the video. And so the last few days, I've gotten a lot of requests from people asking me to edit their essays and that they'll even like pay for me to edit their essays. And I don't really want to do that because first of all, I don't know if that like goes against any like tax problems or anything. So I don't really want to get into trouble with the law. But also, I honestly don't think my advice is worth money. So I decided as a little surprise for 24 hours starting when this essay is uploaded you can send me your essays to the email that i linked down below in the description and i'll edit every single essay that's sent to me within that 24 hour time period and i will do the best i can on it and if it helps you great if it doesn't at least you don't have to pay for it so yeah if you guys want me to edit your guys's essays send them to the email that i linked down below but also please stick to one essay, like one prompt, one version. Don't send me like 15 versions because some people would send me like five different versions of an essay to me and I would kind of get annoyed at that because I'd be like, I'm doing this for free. Why are you sending me so many? Like every single essay I edit takes me 
a decent amount of time. It takes me about an hour or so if I make like deep revisions. And when someone sends me five copies, I'm like, I could be editing someone else's essay right now, helping someone else, but I'm spending like five hours on you. Does that sound mean? I'm sorry if that sounds mean, but that's how I feel. So yeah, that is your surprise. So if you like it, great. If you don't, I'm sorry. Maybe there will be some other surprise in the future. I don't know though. This tiramisu is looking a little ratchet, but it's okay. It's my tiramisu. Oh my God, it's all over my hands. I'm a mess. Okay, and then let's complete this off with another layer. <laughs> it's funny because you guys can't even see the tiramisu right now. You can't see me pouring stuff in here. Does it help if I put it here? You can kind of see the tiramisu now. You guys probably don't even care about the tiramisu. I'm sorry. I'm so not very good at making videos. I'm going to put some cocoa powder on it now. This video is such a mess. I'm using this huge strainer and I'm just gonna kind of try to do this. Okay, you know what? That's 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 all I'm gonna do. I'm I'm done with this video. This this video is complete. Um, let me show you guys. Oh, also look at how my tiramisu is on an egg carton. Oh my god, look at the setup. It's a mess. It's it's my little baby. And the thing is, I can't even eat this tiramisu right now because I need to let it chill in the refrigerator for eight hours, I think. So basically, this video is really sucky and no one asked for it. But you know, the video isn't really about the tiramisu. It's about the process of making tiramisu and me thanking you guys for supporting me and trusting me to give you guys advice because that's amazing and I cannot believe I'm at 1,000 subscribers already. So thank you guys so much. Thank the tiramisu. And also keep in mind that if you send your essay to the email I linked down below, I will edit it for free as long as it's sent to me during that 24 hour time frame. If it's sent afterwards, I'm sorry, I'm not going to edit it because I simply don't have the time to edit everyone's essays, even though I really want to. So yeah, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and comment down below anything. I read every single comment and I reply to 99% of all the comments. And if you guys want to, please subscribe and I will hit you with more advice videos, and also Dana Life's when I go to the University of Pennsylvania in less than a month. In less than a month, oh my god. Okay, bye guys. So destroy the evidence, leave not a trace, burn it in paper trash. That way they can deny possessing the illegal.